Hello friends, <coughs> welcome back to the video series on design of state structural elements. Now this is a very quick video uh, where we will take the same example 2 that is the previous video example and now here what we will do, we will connect the 90 mm plate to the gusset plate. <coughs> okay. So here uh, you can see that I have connected a 90 mm plate to the gusset plate and the 60 mm leg is an outstanding leg. Now here you can see that uh, when I try to find out the design tensile strength for this case of a connection, so the TDG will be same because the gross area of the angle will be same whether you connect a 60 mm leg or a 90 mm leg, the gross area will be same. Right. Now the TDN will change because the net area of the connected leg and the gross area of the outstanding leg will be changing. So here you can see that uh, I am finding the ANC so okay uh, net area of the connected leg so since the 90 mm leg is a connected leg so it is 90 minus 6 by 2 half the thickness minus 18 mm dia bolt dia multiplied by the thickness of the angle so I am getting 414 millimeter square as the net area of the connected leg similarly when I try to find out the gross area of the outstanding leg the gross outstanding uh, outstanding leg width is 60 mm okay you can see here so 60 minus 6 by 2 no need of any deduction of holes multiplied by the thickness so I am getting 342 so when uh, beta will also change so 1.4 minus 0 0.076 this is W that is outstanding leg width this is thickness of the angle so this is FY that is yield strength this is FU that is ultimate tensile strength so this is BS and this is LC so BS it is W plus WI minus T so W is 60 and 50 is WI and thickness of the angle is 104 so this I am getting 104 and LC will be same so beta value I am getting to be 1.159 now uh, if I plug all those values in that equation for TDN I am getting a TDN value of 212.3 kN so similarly now if I come to the block shear uh, here I have not written the exact formula for the block shear because uh, uh, by this time you should be very much comfortable in writing those formula by looking into the uh, IS800 so I am just only calculating the AVG, AVN, ATG and ATN right so now uh, we will quickly find out AVG AVG will be same as in the previous ok and AVN will also be same you connect a uh, connect uh, you connect uh, outstanding leg uh, 60 mm leg or 90 mm leg it will be same now ATG will change because this 40 will change ok because this is 50 so this is this will be 40 so ATG I am getting 240 ATN I am getting 186 ATN is 40 minus 0 0.5 because only half of the bold I have to deduct 186 so if I plug all those values in uh, TDB1 and TDB2 formula I am getting TDB1 as 236 and TDB2 as 207 so by looking into all those uh, values for TDG, TDN, TDB1 and TDB2 the minimum is actually TDG ok this is the minimum value so I am uh, stating that the design tensile strength of the uh, angle for in this case is 196.34 kN and what conclusion we can make out from this is if you see example 2 where we connected a uh, 60 mm leg to the gusset plate that is shorter leg to the gusset plate we were getting design tensile strength of 188.2 but when you connect a 90 mm leg that is the long leg to the gusset plate I am getting 196 so whenever you connect a long leg to the gusset plate we get more design tensile strength when you use the same angle same number of bolts same bolt dia right and the same gusset plate same thickness gusset plate so whenever you want to use an unequal angle please see to it that you always connect the longer leg to the gusset plate and see to it that the shorter leg is an outstanding leg so by doing so you will actually increase the uh, design tensile strength of that angle so this is a very simple uh, extension of example 2 uh, which uh, gives a very brief idea in uh, unequal angles uh, so which leg to connect to be connected to the gusset plate and which leg should be an outstanding leg hope you understood we'll uh, see some more videos in the uh, some more numerical examples in the next video thank you bye